In today's word for the day, I want to encourage you to be as perseverant as Isaac, Abraham's son. Isaac was perseverant. He could persist through difficulty and delay to achieve that which he set out to do. After his father Abraham died, Bible says he came out and he reopened the wells that his father had dug, which the Philistines had stopped, and he gave those wells the same names. That's perseverance. He was pushing through something that was difficult to achieve. And then he went on and he dug a well. And then the headsmen of Gerard came and quarreled with him. And he moved on and he called that well Essek. And then he went on again and dug a second well. And the headsmen of Gerard, Genesis 26, quarreled with him yet again. And he called it Sitna and he moved on. And then he dug a third well. And he called it Rehoboth and he said, the Lord has given me space because this time the headsmen of Gerard didn't fight with him any longer. But how did Isaac find water? He found water through perseverance, friends. He was able to persist through delay and difficulty in achieving success. This whole week I'm talking about perseverance and God wants you to persevere. God wants you to persist through the delay and the difficulty, those delays and those difficulties are standing between you and success. But success is inevitable if only you push through those delays and those difficulties. That's the word for the day. God has called you to a lifestyle of perseverance because Jesus Christ and the faith in which we are in is one of perseverance. God bless you. I'm Pastor Frederick Madison from Rima International Bible Church here in Silver Spring, Maryland. If you're ever visiting our area, I invite you to join us for Sunday worship here at our facility otherwise continue following us on our media social media platforms youtube facebook tiktok and instagram and please help us share this way so you are encouraging people to keep moving because god has great things in store for you and your community god bless you god willing i'll be back again with another word for the day